What is going on guys? Shummel Gaming back with another Lords of the Fallen boss guy. This time we're on Rainhold the Immured. Definitely the hardest boss fight for me so far uh, in this game. As soon as the fight starts, you're going to want to get behind this boss and you're going to want to get that Umbral Parasite out of there. That will buff the boss. Then we need to use a Salt on our weapon and then I'm going to go in and just do my best to stay behind this boss and try to land some attacks. You're going to see me try to use some strong attacks when I can, some charge strong attacks. If you can land two or three of them, normally you can stagger the boss and land a critical strike on him. So you will see me do that. Obviously, it's a risky game going for them because you can get hit. I did use the Summon Stolman for this. He does cast this Radiant, which will heal you. He also seems to have the most health and will stay alive the longest. This boss is going to use a lot of these slam attacks that you need to dash. Uh, unfortunately, get hit on that first one there. He, a lot of these shield attacks that he will hit the ground with, they do splash damage. So even though he's attacking the summon, you kind of need to always be on your A game, making sure he's not attacking. You'll see me land that other charge strong attack there. And we're going to stagger him, land a critical strike. And I'm a preacher, so I'm going to finish off this first phase of the fight by using some casts on him. And we're going to send him to the second phase. The first phase of this fight I definitely thought was harder than the second phase. Just getting through this first phase without dying and hopefully having some health potions seems to be the hardest thing. If you do make it to the second phase and you have some health potions and maybe even your summon alive, that obviously will make things easier. This uh, second phase is going to start and I'm going to use a little bit of cast because he's going to kind of be stunned for a second. Uh, I noticed that it actually wasn't doing damage this time. I believe it was in, in the past though, so I'm not sure why they weren't doing damage at the beginning there. This boss is going to use in the second phase a lot of these slam attacks, charge attacks, and jump attacks. He's also going to use that attack there where he fires out some breath. But these jump attacks is really what you're looking out for. They're pretty easy to dodge and you can always land a couple strikes after. So he jumps at you, you're going to want to dodge, land a couple strikes, and then try to get out of there. Again, jump attack, dodge it, stay in, do a couple of strikes, and then get out of there. He's also going to use these attacks where he runs at you. This is also going to be probably the best time to do damage to him. As soon as he hits the wall, he's going to be stunned for a quick second, and you normally can land a strike or two. Again, the jump attacks, we're going to dodge, stay in close, land a couple of strikes, and then we're going to get out. You, we will get him to a point where we should be able to land a critical strike here, and here it is. This boss's uh, posture in the second phase is definitely easy to break and you should be able to get some critical strikes off of him and that obviously will make a huge difference. So try to just make sure you're ready for those. It will only last a second or two so you got to be ready. Back into the, um, this boss, he's going to start using these flame attacks now with the jump which is unfortunate because now you really can't stay in close when he uses that jump attack because he's going to put a pool of fire down that is going to burn you. You might want to look into having burn cure equipped to your tool belt in case he uh, does get you to the burn. If he does fill that bar up, obviously it will do damage over time and probably just kill you. This is the attack again that we're still looking for where he's going to run across the room, he's going to hit a wall, and then we're going to do some damage. Again, now that the jump attack has the fire, we need to get out of there. We can't stay. This is when being a caster, or if you're not a caster, having some objects equipped that you can throw with the throwing hand and some ammo pouches is going to help at this part of the fight. We're going to do our best to just stay alive and wait for some time for him to go in and do some damage. And if you have some mana crystals, you can use those as well. Make sure you can re-equip your salt on your weapon to do some extra damage when you can. And that's basically going to be it for the rest of this fight. We're just waiting for him to use some of these attacks that we can get in on him and do some damage. Trying your best to stay alive. If this video did prove helpful to preach it a like, this was a very challenging boss fight. Definitely wiped down it for a little bit. But once you got it down, it is not that bad. Hope this video proved helpful to preach it a like. If it did, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and good luck with this guy.